What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. Today we are at Universal Orlando and we are going to be talking about mistakes that you should not make here at Universal. So we're going to be going over a bunch of common mistakes that you should avoid for your next trip to have the most epic time here in the parks. Let's get started. My first tip is don't forget your essentials like sunscreen, sunglasses, flip-flops, ponchos, anything that you may need in the parks because you will have to buy it for a more expensive price. This sunscreen is $20. Not sure how much it is at CVS, but I'm sure you can get it for a cheaper price somewhere else. By making sure you're prepared, it could save you a lot of money. I created a packing list on thecrystalpalace.com. I'll link it in the description of this video so you can check it out. It's a universal specific packing list. The next mistake is not taking advantage of city walk options. So here's an example, Red Oven Pizza Bakery. The pizzas here are $14 for a six piece pizza that might be less expensive than park options and also more delicious. So let's go try out Red Oven. All right, we're here trying Red Oven Pizza Bakery. What you do is you have to get in the line uh, at this window. We didn't do mobile order, so we're just gonna try to order here and uh, get some pizza. All right, so this place is a little confusing. We have to grab a table, then order at the window, and then they'll bring our pizza out to this table that we're at, we gotta tell them. So this is if you don't wanna do mobile order, but mobile order is probably easier. All right, here's our cheese pizza. Doesn't look too bad, but we gotta try it out. I was worried about, I was worried about how cooked it would be. It's not bad actually, it smells pretty good. So let's try it, I'm hungry. Look how thick the crust is. Not thick, but long the crust is. I like it so far, it's pretty good. It's like blurring and pizza, you know? It's not too thick, the pizza, which is good. It's not like doughy and chewy, like Florida pizza usually is. Most importantly, this six piece pie was $14. That's pretty, it's pretty solid price. I would definitely stop here again if I ever was in the mood for pizza and city walk. Well, we ate everything and we're New Yorkers that are used to uh, great pizza, so. Red Oven is Crystal Palace approved. There's also other options like Burger King Whopper Bar, Panda Express, Moe's, that are more fast food type of restaurants, but if you're looking to save some money, this might be a good option for you. Especially if you're here for a long time and you don't wanna be spending on, you know, going to places like the Cowfish every night. Don't forget that there are some quick service options for cheap here at Universal. And I say don't forget the City Walk options because even if you're in the park, you can come out here to City Walk and try out some of the food options out here because it is so close to the parks. You can simply just hop out of Universal or Islands of Adventure and you're already right here in City Walk. You just have to cross the bridge. All right, we walked not too far from City Walk and here we are right at the entrance of Universal Studios Florida. City Walk is truly just steps away from the park entrance. So don't miss out on great City Walk food options. The next mistake to avoid is not downloading the Universal app before you visit. The Universal app shows you wait times, allows you to mobile order food and drinks, which can save you so much time in the parks, and also have a little virtual map so it could direct you where you are. If you turn on your location settings, it'll show you exactly where you are and where you have to go, and it'll move with you, and it'll be perfect for directions. And Universal has free Wi-Fi, so you don't have to worry about not getting service or connection in the parks while using the Universal app. You can also use Universal Pay that will allow you to pay for things throughout the resort, like food. You just hook up your credit card and scan the barcode and you can pay for your meal. Overall, not having the Universal app on your phone is a mistake that you do not want to make. Another mistake is overdoing it with your legs. Universal has free transportation to and from the resorts. The water taxis are located right outside of both of the parks. You hop on one to go to Sapphire Falls, Royal Pacific, Hard Rock Hotel, and Portofino Bay, and this will save your legs a lot of pain instead of having to walk back to your resort. They also have bus transportation to the other hotels. The bus transportation is located right back there in City Walk. I do have a full video all about Universal bus transportation and transportation in general if you want to check that out. I'll link it in the description down below. 
All right, let's head into my favorite park, Universal Studios Florida. I also want to say one mistake that I don't want anyone to make is not taking enough pictures. I have pictures from when I was a kid here and I love looking back on all the memories. So make sure you just take as many pictures as you can and enjoy your time in the parks. Pictures equals memories, that's what I always say. Another thing about that Universal app is it will show you updated park hours. I'm not actually sure why you can't see the screen right now, but it says the park hours on here. So make sure you always check your app to see what the park hours are, what early park admission is, because they do change quite often. The next mistake is thinking that you can't come to Universal because you have a disability or you have trouble getting around. Universal will do their best to accommodate everybody on the rides, walking around the parks, getting around the parks. They have an attraction accessibility pass. Whatever you need, just head to guest services or rental services for a wheelchair, a scooter, strollers, anything you need, and they will help you out. They don't want anybody to miss out on a great time at Universal, so just be sure to ask. Another mistake to avoid is purchasing more expensive water. This water, Niagara water, is the cheaper water. It's around $3.75. Smart water is $6. Some stands only sell smart water, especially the ones out in City Walk. Some of the food stands only sell smart water. So if you ever see Niagara water, grab a bottle because it is the cheaper water if you're going to buy a bottle of water. The next mistake to avoid is not knowing all of the offers. So offers like the popcorn bucket where you get a first fill of popcorn for free when you buy a refillable popcorn bucket. Once you purchase a popcorn bucket, you get popcorn refills for a discounted price. So if you purchase a popcorn bucket and it breaks the day of your purchase and you have the receipt, they can give you a new one that's not broken, but it's only valid for one day. The next offer is if you want to purchase a souvenir tumbler, you can drink all day. So it's $28.99 for a souvenir tumbler like this one right here. And you can refill it at any of the Coke freestyle locations around the park. They're located pretty much everywhere. There's a lot of freestyle locations. And you can refill your soda every 10 minutes. And the refills also include icy. So if you like icy drinks and you see one at a stand, you can refill your souvenir cup with that icy drink. All right, your next mistake to avoid is purchasing all day lockers right here at the front of the park because you might not need them. Unless you're bringing a huge backpack and you wanna just leave it at the front of the park, that's fine. But these all day lockers are $12 for all day. The family size lockers are $15 for all day tickets. Most of the rides at Universal will require you to put your bag in a locker, but if you have a small enough bag, you can fit them in the free lockers that are located outside of each ride. And so I recommend to do that rather than having to pay $12 to have your bag stored here at the front of the park. And you could just bring your bag around with you, but just make sure it's small enough that you can fit it in those free lockers or else you have to pay at the ride as well, which I'll show you an example. The next mistake to avoid is missing out on character meet and greets. This area right here, Hollywood section of Universal Studios Florida, is usually filled with character meet and greets. Most of the characters out here will come out at random times. To the left you see Scooby and Squad. Down here you see the Simpsons characters. These aren't set times that they come out, but if you're lucky and you're walking by here, you can meet them. Usually they're out here from around 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you come later at night, like an hour before the park closes, don't expect to see any characters. But these character meet and greets are awesome. Some of my favorites is definitely meeting Beetlejuice, an unexpected, amazing character to meet. Oh, and we got Dora Explorer right up there too. Oh, nobody's meeting Dora. She has her backpack on too. Where are all my friends, she's saying. <laughs> Poor Dora. Hi, Dora! Hi! <laughs> Some of the character meet and greets are scheduled, so once again, be sure to have that Universal app so you can check it out and see when the character meet and greets will be. Oh, who's down here? Oh, the Penguins of Madagascar! Another mistake is to avoid skipping rides just because you hear that they're bad. I am a firm believer in everybody should just try to ride things and form their own opinions on them. Just because you hear one ride, someone doesn't like one ride, doesn't mean that you're not gonna like it. 
And I think that you should just try to go in with, with a positive attitude and try it out. That's what I did with Fast and Furious. I went in it so excited, being positive. And I like this ride. I know a lot of people don't like it. But you know what? Just try it out. Don't skip it because you might regret not doing it just because somebody else doesn't like it. Another mistake to avoid is not getting the park to park ticket if you want to ride the Hogwarts Express. I actually heard somebody today say that they didn't know that the Hogwarts Express was actually an attraction rather than he just thought it was going to be getting on a train and heading over to the other park. It's a Harry Potter attraction that you will not want to miss if you're a Harry Potter fan. I love the Hogwarts Express. I think it's a really awesome attraction, but you will need the park to park ticket just in order to ride the attraction because it does take you over to the other park. So if you're on islands, it'll take you over to Universal Studios. If you're in Universal Studios, it'll take you over to Islands of Adventure. And also don't think that it's the same ride going back and forth because they're actually different shows from here to Islands of Adventure and then from Islands of Adventure back to here. And in this station, King's Cross Station, you can actually cross into platform nine and three quarters, which is an amazing experience that I highly recommend you do. All right, now this next tip, we're walking, we're walking, right? Don't miss Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley is in this shot right now, but you wouldn't even know it because it's in the wall right here. A lot of people may skip it. A lot of people may not know where it is. I hear a lot of people asking, where's Diagon Alley? Where's Diagon Alley? It's right in this wall. So let's go head in. I'll show you how to get in here. So it's right, let's see where we are, see where we are. We're right in this station. And then we head in to Diagon Alley. Through the wall, you can hear the bricks shifting. And here we are, and Diagon Alley is amazing. Do not miss out on this experience. Another mistake to avoid is not getting a butter beer. You do not want to leave Universal without trying at least one kind of butter beer. My favorite is frozen, but it also comes in hot, cold, ice cream, fudge, or potted cream butter beer. Frozen is the best, especially on a hot day. But don't leave without trying it or you will regret it because this is such a staple here in Universal. So we stopped in the Leaky Cauldron because I wanted a butter beer and we also got the kids fish and chips. It comes with one fish and chip, which is all right because we didn't want a lot, grapes and some fries. So cheers. These Harry Potter dining options are really great. The theming in here is awesome. I ate at both of them. Once again, I have a video of that. I'll link it in the description if you want to check out the Leaky Cauldron and the three room sites. Also, I'm eating under the stairs like Harry Potter. If you know, you know. This is another reason to get the park to park ticket because you can simply so easily, even if you don't take the Hogwarts Express, hop over from park to park. It is right next door. It does not take long at all. Maybe five to 10 minute walk from gate to gate. So if you want to do one thing in Islands of Adventure, like we're about to do, you can just hop on over. Welcome to Islands of Adventure. Port of Entry is one of the best themed areas. Don't just rush through this. Try to take some time to explore it. You hear all that? It's theming, so on point. We are over here in Islands of Adventure, just taking a little break for our feet, which brings me to my next tip, which is don't overdo it. It's very tempting to want to run from ride to ride to ride, especially in the morning, if you come here for early park admission. However, you could overdo it and then be too tired to go all night. So definitely just try to pace yourself. I know that's very exciting, but you don't want to do too much on your feet because it's a lot of walking. So save your feet, save your energy, and try to pace yourself as much as you can. For my next mistake to avoid, I'm coming at you from Toon Lagoon because I think this is a place that a lot of people do skip over because there's mostly water rides here and they just walk quickly through it. So I want to say, don't miss out on the details. Stoon Lagoon especially has so many fun details. Like this changes, it's really cute photo ops and there's just a lot of details around Toon Lagoon and all of Universal in general that you don't want to miss out on. My next mistake to avoid brings me to my favorite, one of my favorite rides, Popeyes. Pretty much all the water rides at Universal will get you soaking wet. Popeyes especially, you'll get drenched on this ride. So my tip is to avoid walking around in wet clothes all day, either pack extra socks, an extra pair of shorts, 
or wear something waterproof if you aren't able to go back to your hotel and change. They also have human dryers that you can pay $5 for a cycle and you can see these families going in the dryer trying to dry off after going on Popeyes. Oh, it actually went up. It's $7 now. My next mistake involves this beauty, the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. So for early park admission, you're going to want to do early park admission. If you watched any of my other videos on the Crystal Palace, you know how much I believe in early park admission. Now the Jurassic World Velocicoaster is actually included with the Express Pass, which means that for early park admission, you should probably focus most of your attention <laughs> on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Now, where the mistake comes in is that a lot of people get to early park admission for 8 o'clock, which is a mistake because you are going to have to get to the park for early park admission at least 45 minutes before the park opens for early park admission. So that means get there at 7.15 so you're one of the first in lines. This way you walk right onto Hagrid's. You get there more towards 8 o'clock. So distracting. If you get there more towards 8 o'clock, you're going to have to wait a pretty long time for Hagrid's anyway. The next mistake you want to avoid is right over there at a restaurant like Mythos. You want to make sure that you make dining reservations. Even though Universal is a lot less strict with dining reservations, meaning you don't have to make dining reservations, wake up at 6 a.m. and get 60 days in advance dining reservations, if you know what I mean. You can usually just make them, some of them you could do day of, but other more popular restaurants like Mythos and Tucson Chocolate Emporium, you're going to want to have some advanced dining reservations, whether that's a week before, or a month before, whatever works best for you. And I like the sit-down restaurants because sometimes it's nice, especially during hot days, to sit inside and have a nice sit-down lunch to relax and take a nice break. The next mistake to avoid is getting a rental car. If you're staying on Universal property, you're not going to need a rental car because Universal provides free transportation to and from all their resorts. This one's going to Aventura, the next one's going to Cabana Bay. All of the Universal resorts have free transportation. So unless you're going places like Disney or SeaWorld or other parks around Orlando, you're really not going to need a rental car and you just might be throwing money away. All right, my last mistake to be on the lookout for is not staying at a Universal hotel. As you can see by my hair, it's been a long day in the Universal parks and being able to just come to a Universal hotel, free transportation, easy transportation, can lay your head down at a nice clean hotel is well worth it. The premier resorts get free express pass. They do free merchandise delivery. So if you buy something in the parks, you can actually get it delivered to your hotel, which is awesome. So I highly recommend staying at a Universal hotel, especially if it's your first time. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.